Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Bronze Age Metropolis A giant metropolis from the Bronze Age that was once home to 6,000 people has been unearthed in Israel. The metropolis is complete with a huge temple, a mysterious cemetery, and even bones that may have been used during animal sacrifices. This huge city was once the biggest in the region during its time, taking up about 161 acres, a huge plot of land for 5,000 years ago. Archaeologists are calling it the Bronze Age New York because of how big it is. From what archaeologists have gathered so far from excavations, the city utilized urban planning with separate neighborhoods, designated public spaces, and advanced street planning. It was a cosmopolitan filled with thousands of people, though of course, today, it's hard to imagine only 6,000 people making up a huge city. But remember that back then, there weren't that many people around to begin with. This site is known as En Esor, and it may have even been the home for people from various different cultures and kingdoms. People from all across the Middle East may have moved here in search of riches and a better life, sort of the same reasons people have today for moving to a big city. While the archaeologists were excavating the lost ancient city, they found the ruins of an even older settlement from 7,000 years ago. Though significantly older than the city that rose up in its place, it may have been the original settlement, making it a place that people have lived for thousands of years, and it must have been quite special. Number 9. Gigantia Temples The Gigantia Temples are some of the most fascinating megaliths anywhere in Europe. Located in Malta, some of the pieces of stone used to build the temples are over 15 feet long and weigh over 50 tons. The legend goes that thousands of years ago, Malta was home to a race of giants who constructed the prehistoric temples. In reality, the ancient structures came from a very intelligent group of people. They developed extremely sophisticated technology that allowed them to construct the temples between the years 3600 and 3200 BC. The temples came before both Stonehenge and the Great Pyramid of Giza, and so the earliest temple here is considered one of the oldest freestanding monuments anywhere on the planet. Despite how old these fascinating temples are, they are still in great condition. Yes, they're in ruins, but experts have still been able to figure out what the temples would have looked like back when they were built. As for what the temples were used for, it likely had something to do with communal rituals. Hundreds of people gathered in front of the temple complex where ceremonial activities were carried out inside, often involving the slaughter of animals, chanting, and perhaps even music from ancient instruments. It's believed that the people here worshipped a giantess who in the local folklore was responsible for building the temples after having children with an ordinary man. The rituals were to bring fertility as the people believed the giantess would help them have many healthy children. Number 8. Shimao The lost city of Shimao was discovered just recently when archaeologists took a closer look at some ancient stone walls at the edge of the Mu'us Desert in northern Shanxi. For decades, the locals simply thought the ruins were part of the Great Wall of China. But once excavations got underway, archaeologists realized they were dealing with something significantly older than the Great Wall. It turned out to be a forgotten city that dates back to the year 2300 BC. Over the past decade, archaeologists have been hard at work uncovering the secrets of this ancient place. So far, researchers working with the Shanxi Provincial Institute of Archaeology have found fortifications, advanced infrastructure, thousands of artifacts, and even a massive pyramid that once stood 230 feet high. This pyramid was probably the residence of the ruling leaders and their families. The position of Shimao has been a little curious for archaeologists because they had always thought that the Chinese civilization first developed 500 years after Shimao was founded. They also thought Chinese civilization came from the Central Plains, not to the north near the border of Mongolia. And to make matters even more confusing, there is absolutely no written record anywhere in history of this city existing. Nobody knew about it, even though it was clearly a powerful kingdom with advanced knowledge and unique architecture. It was probably the most advanced urban city anywhere in China at the time, and yet there is no mention of it anywhere. Even after all the excavations, scientists can't figure out why or how the ancient city remained a mystery for so long. Number 7. Mysterious Temple 
A recent drought in Iraq has revealed an amazing palace built 3,400 years ago by a mysterious empire. It happened when the water in the Mosul Dam reservoir began to recede. Archaeologists from Germany were quick to arrive in Iraq and try to excavate as much as they could before the waters rose again and covered the ancient palace. These archaeologists believe the palace was built by the Mitanni Empire, one of the most enigmatic empires of ancient times. Only a handful of ruins are still around today, with the capital still being a total mystery. Nobody knows much about the Mitanni, which is why archaeologists were so desperate to get as much as they could from the submerged palace before it was too late. They found clay tablets, walls that were once painted in bright colors, and evidence that the palace was probably part of a huge city. After all, it's doubtful this mighty empire built a palace in the middle of nowhere. It was almost certainly part of a larger site. Archaeologists are currently working to decipher the mysterious clay tablets they found to gain more information. All we know about these people so far is that they ruled northern Mesopotamia from between 1500 to 1360 BC, a very brief period considering. They rose and fell pretty much in the blink of an eye. The researchers would love to know where they came from and what happened to make them vanish so quickly. And now for number 6. But first, want to give a big shout out to Oliver F. Rupert and Carol Joe 420 for supporting this channel. Thanks for coming over to our little corner of the internet. And if you want to learn more about amazing discoveries, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number 6. Ancient Smokehouse An ancient site dating back to 5,000 years ago has been discovered in Siberia. It is a strange place covered with ancient pits in the ground that turned out to be a Neolithic smokehouse. This archaeological site was used by the local people to collectively cook all of their meat. Fish and other animals were processed here inside of these huge pits. Researchers from the Russian Academy of Sciences say they used a method that is still being used in the region today by Siberian ethnic groups and people living in the extreme north. Aside from just fish, the bones of dogs, foxes, and wolverines were found inside the pits. This has created a bit of a problem for researchers because wolverines are not native to the area around the pits, instead found hundreds of miles away in the Russian taiga. Nobody has any idea how these people got a hold of wild wolverines, and now researchers think that this smoke site was used for ritual purposes. But according to the lead archaeologist, it's a huge mystery which we have yet to understand. Number 5. Ancient Amazonia In the Amazon, archaeologists have found no less than 81 new archaeological sites. This discovery has confirmed that roughly 1 million people lived in a small region of the Amazon basin way before Europeans ever arrived. This is shocking because up until now, archaeologists believed the human populations of the Amazon were spread out in small areas. And believe it or not, it's thanks to the destructive deforestation in Bolivia and Brazil that the giant geometric shapes of what were once settlements were identified. Researchers used satellite images to find the ruins left behind in the soil. These aren't physical ruins, but geoglyphs, scars in the earth from where settlements once stood. 104 earthworks and over 81 settlements were found, and when the archaeologists finally went to the Amazon to check these places out for themselves, they found all kinds of treasures, from stone axes to ceramics and even ancient garbage dumps. The settlements vary in size and shape, from tiny villages to huge fortified cities with roads and plazas. The experts have no idea which culture dominated the region. They only know that the people had a major impact on the land, building and farming, and then basically vanishing. The truth here is that the Amazon is not quite as unexplored as we think. Back during the time of the Aztecs and the Maya, there was a whole world operating in the Amazonian jungle. The trouble is that when they were gone, the jungle took over the land again. The thing is, we just don't know what happened to them, where they went, or why they seemingly disappeared right before the Europeans showed up. Number 4. Siberian Cave In another exciting find from Siberia, researchers have found a young girl's pinky finger in a cave. It was an intriguing find because researchers weren't sure if the girl was living in the cave, if she was passing through, or just what exactly was going on. Analysis showed that she was part of the Denisovans, a group of prehistoric people from over 50,000 years ago, but the specifics were a bit murky. 
Recently, state-of-the-art technology allowed the researchers to go back and do a DNA analysis on the pinky finger and a few molars found near it in the same cave. They found that the girl died 50,000 years ago and that whoever the teeth belonged to, a pair of individuals, had died 110,000 and 170,000 years ago. This is astonishing because it proves that within this mysterious Siberian cave, people lived collectively for at least 120,000 years, beginning nearly 200,000 years before today. To put that in perspective, humans have only been building cities for around 11,000 years. We were living in caves for around 20 times longer. But the discovery doesn't stop with evidence of the Denisovans. Archaeologists also found the toe bone and molar from a Neanderthal, as well as proof that humans even occupied the cave in more recent times. Number 3. Neolithic Settlements NASA has discovered a weird archaeological mystery thanks to satellite pictures they took high in the sky above Kazakhstan. The pictures of a very remote steppe devoid of human habitation reveal geometric figures, huge rings, and mysterious lines several times larger than a football field. These huge earthworks are only discernible from the air, and the oldest among them has been estimated at 8,000 years old. One of these earthworks is a massive Neolithic settlement comprised of 101 raised mounds. It covers more terrain than the area around the Great Pyramid of Cheops. What's really fascinating is that according to the New York Times, these earthworks are entirely unstudied. There are trenches, ramparts, and the remains of ancient settlements, and nobody has investigated them. Compton J. Tucker, a biospheric scientist with NASA, recently said that he has never seen anything like this before. The entire region seems to have been hugely important thousands of years ago, yet the country of Kazakhstan has been horribly slow to send people to investigate. Some of the lines in the Earth may have been used as ground observatories for tracking the movement of the sun. But who built them? Historical records show the lands here were probably inhabited by tribes during the Stone Age who used them as hunting grounds. They may have been part of the very mysterious Mahanzar culture, who lived in the region from between 7000 BC and 5000 BC. What's confusing scientists is the fact that a nomadic population of hunters stayed in one place for long enough to build such weird structures and to make such impressive geoglyphs. Some of the ramparts are at least 10 feet high and 40 feet across, like primitive castle walls. They would have had no reason to build these, though, as there wouldn't have been wars fought by big armies. The purpose of this place is still a total mystery. Number 2. Mystery Islands The islands of Nihoa and Mokumanamana are part of the Greater Hawaiian Island chain. They are two of the most mysterious islands in the region, as archaeologists have found curious remains on both of them. They've discovered terraces, man-made platforms, and upright stones that look as though they were once part of a larger, monolithic structure. They were dubbed the Mystery Islands by the first European sailors to come across them because they found the ruins and had no idea what they meant. And even today, archaeologists have little clue as to the people who lived here or the structures that they built. The first archaeological surveys were done in 1923. They noted cave shelters, the ruins of habitations, agricultural areas, and stone tools on both islands. They also found jars and bowls and strange stone carvings of faces that almost look extraterrestrial. Additional excavations were done in 2012 with help from the University of Hawaii. These researchers identified a complex ritual system that existed on the islands from between 1400 and 1800, so up until just under 300 years ago. The indigenous Hawaiians likely traveled to these islands to perform ritual ceremonies during seasonal changes such as the summer solstice. The rulers of the time would perform elaborate ceremonies in which they believed they were inheriting the mana of their dead ancestors. Mana is considered spiritual energy, which when absorbed from dead ancestors would help to make the rulers wiser and to ensure prosperity during the coming harvest. Number 1. Mount Nebo Mount Nebo is one of the most mysterious places in all of Jordan. It is considered to be the mountain where Moses witnessed the Promised Land before he died. Of course, the Promised Land in the Old Testament is Israel, which one can see from the top of the mountain. The Old Testament also says that Mount Nebo is where Moses lived out his final days and where his body was ultimately buried. 
However, despite decades of archaeological searching, his remains have never been found, and so the story has never been scientifically proven. This site was already an important place of pilgrimage by the 4th century AD. A church and a sanctuary were built at the top to honor Moses, then monks built a new Byzantine monastery in the 6th century. The mountain was ultimately abandoned in the 16th century, and the churches were left to become ruins. It wasn't until 1993 when the mountain was purchased by the Franciscans, who restored the site to its previous glory and opened it up to tourists. Thanks for watching! Would you dare to travel to any of these mysterious locations? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already! See you soon! Bye!